Oh wait, no, I didn't. I watched his other one, his Mario one. Among Zelda games, Link's Awakening is one of the true bizarro oddities. There is no Hyrule, no Triforce, no Master Sword. In fact, there are no puzzles or dungeons either. At least that's how the game was for me when I was 10. I don't think I, I don't ever think played I this one. Past the raccoon part. I've played so like 10 me, Zelda the games. Was mowing grass and hitting goblins in the forest. Revisiting this game 20 years later, I understood. Minish Cap. I oh my! The Minish Cap is one of my favorites. Of does not make I feel like most of my favorite Zelda games are ones that everyone's like, "Ugh, this one is the the worst." I like Minish Cap, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. I think are my favorites. An owl Those are that my tells favorites. You what to do. There are owl statues that tell you what to do. There are hint houses spread all over the map. And even with all this stuff telling you how to beat the game, you're probably going to get stuck somewhere. No one and hates... That is the I used to always see people's... Okay, you know those freaking um, medallion things where you find like one half and then you put them together? I saw someone saying that was like... That was like the worst mechanic in any Zelda game and it ruined it. And I saw a bunch of people agreeing with them. And I was like... That was my one of my favorite parts. No, not heart pieces. What were, it was only in Minish Cap. I don't remember what they're called. Kit, yeah, the the kin stones, yeah. All of the old school. I like those formula. fricks. You have this vast, expansive map to explore, but often only one very specific way to progress the game. Just like Metroid, it, it is good. easy to miss one subtle cue and spend 30 minutes wandering in circles, accomplishing nothing. People who love these games have played them so many times. They can why is there a chain chomp with a? a Oh, on his head. See the unintuitive faults, which is probably why I enjoy this game like the, the most on the third place. Above what? all else, it's the weirdness of this Zelda that makes it so why? special. And one of what? the weirdest things about why is there so much more? What the game plays? You compare Super Mario A World to Super chomp. Mario Land 2 mm. on the Game Boy. In terms of gameplay, they aren't even close, baby. Super Mario World is way, way more precise and smoother to control, with so many more power-ups and mechanical flourishes. Typically, Super Nintendo games had better graphics and smoother controls than their Game I played Boy this one. I don't remember what Mario this is. Link's Awakening plays like more like one. a sequel to A Link to the Past, and that's because Sox. it was developed Thanks for the by the same months. team two years later. In Link to the Past, Link is like a fucking pinball. If you get hit, you get bounced. If you hit an enemy, you get bounced. Look at this thing in the middle. Guess what that does? It bounces you. Now combine that with dungeons that... littered with holes in the ground, spike traps, conveyor belts, and ice-covered floors. Link's Awakening incorporates all of the fun power-ups and twists from the Super Nintendo <coughs> game into a more polished package, using smart design choices to make Link stronger, more stable, and more agile, all Drone. while operating under much heavier hardware constraints. On the Game Boy, this was a technical Like, do we still moment, have Joel? I haven't seen me, Joel in a it's while. It's the Switch version where it really sings. <laughs> How oh, we do? Okay, cool. I was just wondering. 2D Zeldas have always been I more see Joel all the time. Pace than the 3D titles, but the remaster takes the most compact Zelda and squeezes it into a tiny glossy Where's Rambo? Gym. It makes for a game where every Wait, I did have Rambo like today, didn't I? I do. Wait, do I just not have Rambo on this? Wait, I. Oh. There is. And, and soaring across the map with your hookshot is pure magic. Once you've been indoctrinated by the goofy ass video game logic of Zelda, this is maybe the most replayable game in the series. But it's not the gameplay that made me fall in love with this game, it's the story. Zelda Link's Awakening. It's a funny title because first off, Zelda isn't even in this game. Secondly, you don't even play as Link. You play as a guy called Blanca. And there's Mario characters uh. everywhere and evil Kirby. And get this, what? the entire game takes place inside of a fish's dream. I'm always telling you guys about how there needs to be more video games where the entire thing takes place inside of a fish's dream. This game not only delivers on that very specific request, I can never tell when Donkey's just saying shit. Fishing mini game. The remastered visuals have this plastic sheen suggestive of a child playing with toys. The houses are full of little details that color in the person living there, and even though this game has a great soundtrack, it is almost never referenced in subsequent games, further reinforcing its unique- You just don't get it. 
Legendary Get what? Legendary director Takashi Tezuka cited Twin Peaks as one of his major inspirations here. The world of Koholint is dreamlike and Brian, mysterious, thanks for the but prime. populated by quaint villages full of oddball characters. And there's an owl. Even stranger, the plot of this game is very similar to David Lynch's later film, Mulholland Drive. Most Zelda games hinge on a battle between what good is and evil, where your goal is to save the world. <laughs> but in Link's Awakening, you gradually discover that your goal this time is to destroy the world. If Link doesn't wake up from the dream, he'll drown in the ocean. But if he does, this entire no. world that you've come to know will cease to exist. What's tragic is how the world makes such a big impact on the player without slamming you with reams of dialogue. Link has a little girlfriend that wants to be a seagull. <laughs> he wins a Yoshi doll for what? a baby. He trades an alligator, a can of a dog girlfriend. food for a banana. The mayor of Sim City gets catfished by a goat. Wart from Super Mario Bros. 2 is holding an underground concert. You crawl into a crypt to resurrect a legendary chicken. Where Twin Peaks was chicken. often dark and ominous, Zelda doubles down on jokes and humor. Barry its darker elements much deeper beneath the surface. Just like a dream, Link's Awakening can be bizarre and illogical. Koholint Island may be the most idyllic place Link has ever been, but sometimes in life, the thing you have to do is the last thing you want to do, like waking up and getting out of bed. And that's why I hate this that! Is my favorite Zelda story. I hate when I wake up. Bang. I think I've watched every single donkey video ever since like 2016.